Welcome, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper and I have an unboxing for you from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and I'm going to try and make this one live this time. Well not live but I'm not going to narrate it. So let's start. These are the products for May and in May we were actually allowed to choose our products. So our core products are what we chose and I went with the Garden Goddess Collection from Graphic 45. It's a 2018 collection and I just love it. It's full of blooms. It's all about the garden. And there's a reason for this because I have a project in mind for the month of May, which you will soon see. But I'm going to keep hush about that for now. Now, these are the papers that I chose. Now, I did choose two of everything because as a scrapbooker, I like to have two because usually I want to use both sides. Sometimes I only like one side, but in general, I like two. So this one, this paper here is the Graphic 45 Garden Goddess Collection. So they're all going to be Garden Goddess Collection as far as I know. If it's not, I'll let you know. But this one here is called... What's it called? Where are the names? Oh yes, Garden Goddess Collection. So I love that. Um, it's going to be hard deciding which one I like, but anyway, let's move along. My next chosen paper was this one. So it's nice and green and stripy, and then followed by the B side. Let me just move this out of the way so you're not all distracted with everything else. So then this is the next one. So that's nice and green and stripy. And then this one has got all, the other side has got all these, what I call banners, if I wanted to use them as banners. So that's that. And this one here is called Seeds of Kindness. Oh, oh, just all those names. They just um, relate so well for my project for May. And what's the next one? The next one is all lovely. Well, this one's this one here. This paper here is called Happiness Blossoms. And yes, Happiness Blossoms with what I'm going to be doing or my project is going to be about. So that's the two sides of that. So, and my next one is let's see. There's that. And then the other side of this very gorgeous pattern. Can you see that? So the other side of it is this. Look at that. Oh, I, oh, I've got so many images coming to my head. Let's see if I can get them all down when I do my project. So this one's called Love Growing Here. Oh, so appropriate. And that's that one. And the next one, lovely pink colour. And that's the pattern, so you can see it up close. And the other side has got all these post-it or postcards or whatever they're called. It's early in the morning and my brain's still not working. I haven't had my coffee yet because I wanted to get this done for Auntie Vera as I've been a bit slack and been in my garden more than I've been scrapping lately. So this paper here is called Shine From Within. So that's those two. So obviously that's paper one, side A, and that's side B. So beautiful. And here we go. Another lovely green paper with all these lovely leafy details. I love it. And the other side is this one here. It's sort of pink with all flowers. And look how lovely they coordinate. See? That's why I always like two of everything. So this one here, uh, this, these papers are called Fields of Flowers. Very appropriate. There we go. And back to these ones. Another sort of lovely pink colour. And this one's called Thoroughly Planted. And this is the other side of thoroughly planted look at that and oh having all these ideas 
I know, I'm a bit of a tease. Uh, I'm not actually going to be doing, I, I will give you a hint. My May project is not going to be 12 by 12 scrapbook layouts. So there. And this one here is called Garden Goddess. It's got all these lovely little flowers and in a green background. And the other side is gorgeous. My garden of flowers is also my garden of thoughts and dreams. Oh, I have to do something with that one in regard to the project that I'm making in May. And let's see. Oh, so that's the that's the graphic 45. And so that's what the actual I've taken it out of its package, that's why. And these are the stickers. So I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to keep the stickers as it is or if beforehand I'm just going to put them all onto cardstock and fussy cut them out because if you've seen the fiasco of my last layout, whenever I stick things down and then I change my mind, um, it tends to cause a bit of a problem. So, and this is the chipboard. It's also Garden Goddess. Look at the chipboard. Look at that. Sunshine. Look at that. Oh, I'm loving The reason why I'm getting so excited is because this is so appropriate for my project and what I'm up to and what I will be documenting, I should say. And then this one here is the portrait of a lady. Now, if I can work out how to open this. Get some scissors. Portrait of a lady. It looks beautiful. It's not the garden grow, but I think it's going to go really, really well. Scissors aren't very sharp. Uh, so let's get the plastic out. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, love all that. Hello, beautiful. Oh, elegance. Oh, women. Oh, just look at that. Oh, I'm going to be having so much fun with this. Oh, I'll put that aside just to move this along quicker. And then there's the Garden Goddess collection. And these ones here are journaling and ephemera cards. And they are absolutely stunning. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh, for journaling. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I know I sound pretty excited about this but it's because of it. it's a project that I've had in mind for a while and this is the perfect opportunity to finally do this project and hopefully make someone very happy um, yeah I actually think she will be very happy so oh this one's so beautiful let us be grateful to the people who make us happy they are charming gardeners who make ourselves oh so appropriate I'm going to have to use that one um oh look at that and that's the other side oh beautiful look at that garden goddess oh gosh this is so appropriate for my project it's i just could not have picked a more appropriate collection oh What's the other side? Oh, journaling. Oh, I'm going to. My garden of flowers is also my garden of thoughts. Oh, just card. Oh, and there's that one. Beautiful garden. Postcard. Oh, look at that. Forget not the earth that. Forget not the earth, the lights to fill your bare feet, and the winds long to play with your hair. Oh, that is so true. I've actually been spending a lot of time in my garden lately. I don't, um, I haven't got a very, I wouldn't say it's not a very nice garden. My garden needs a lot of work, and I'm not a natural gardener. You would think with my heritage and with my parents both having green thumbs and my godmother having a very green thumb, that I would be naturally gifted but no I've had to work hard to get my garden and learn everything there is and I also live in a rural area and even though we've got a lot of land our soil is very very clay it's clay soil 
So for me to had well for my little area of garden that I've established, I've had to work very hard at breaking down that clay. And for about two or three years, all I did was turn the soil, add gypsum, add cow manure, add fertilizer. Oh, a lot of work, but I'm finally getting some results and it is looking lovely. So here we are. I'm sure you don't want to know all about my garden. And lovely stencil from Kaiser Craft, of course. Fancy Flourish, which I think I will be using to do a bit of mixed media in my layout so this one is well i did say it's called fancy flourish so <clears throat> always have to have a stencil in my my little collection and some more paper but this one here is the graphic 45 garden goddess Oh look, it's got little templates. So it's the coordinating. What the, these are the coordinating um, pattern and solid paper sheets to go with all the other gorgeous patterns. So look at this. And Graphic Forty Five has also got the tags and four by six templates and the gift tags. These ones here. So very nice going to be so you get two of each papers and there's this lovely little pink one. Oh look at the other side oh oh my gosh uh, oh <coughs> excuse me I just had to cough no I don't have the virus it's just a tickle in my throat because I need my coffee and look at this one stripey and the other side oh that's very similar to that one anyway uh, always need lots of pinks love that oh green oh look at that oh nice coordinating sort of yellowish it's a beige color with undertones of yellow i would say gorgeous oh mm -mm. look at that sort of vines and greens oh i get excited about paper i I would rather have paper to anything else. There is so much you can do with paper. So, uh, paper, getting paper packs and even just plain paper like that, which is just a colour, I just love because you need those to go with all the lovely pattern colours. So, I have a paperholic problem, I would say. Uh, I'm not a big drinker. Um... I very rarely drink. I wouldn't say I don't drink, but very rarely drink. And when I do, it's usually one drink does, does, does me. But paper, I have a big paper problem. I love paper. I love pattern paper. I love anything that really has to do with paper. So that's my one weakness. And that is, I guess, my addiction. But enough about me. I will leave you all now. That is my kit for... Well, not my kit. Well, it is my kit. That's my unboxing for May. And stay tuned for my special project that I'll be working on through the month of May. And I hope that you all join us at Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft when we are doing our May projects. There's going to be lots of lovely, talented ladies all working on their projects. And we would love it if you all came and joined us and joined in the fun until my next video. Bye everyone!